possible. Uh, very hot, but you didn't tell me there was a dress code. Oh, well, I'm going up in front of the review board. Really? Do you think they can reinstate you this soon? Well, since they proved Elena's still alive, you know. I mean, it kind of mitigates the circumstances. I could have my badge back back at the end of the day. Oh, Lucky, that's fantastic. I'm going to help you out oh, here. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Mm. Now, what would you do without me? Oh, I've been there, done that. I didn't like it so much. So, if I do get my job back, mm -hmm. maybe you'd reconsider the idea of us living together? That sounded a whole lot different in my head. Which is so much more romantic. Uh, I'm just surprised, that's all. I mean, we, we discussed this once before. And you said no then. I understood. And maybe I should have given this more thought, but I just, I feel so right about us. Things have changed since we last talked about it. I know, and you could give me a million reasons why it's a bad idea. But I'd rather not. And I'd like to think of all the reasons that it should work. Like, my son is crazy about you. And me about him. Almost as crazy as I am about you. <laughs> think about how much fun it would be. I, I know, it would be a lot of fun, but I think this is not about fun. I mean, this is, this is a huge step. This is not a new territory for us, Elizabeth. We've practically been talking about this as long as we've known each other. Yeah, I know, but this is not like us fantasizing about life in New York City and I'd be an artist and you would be whatever you wanted to be. This is different. I know, and I'm a cop. You're a nurse, a single mother. Welcome to the real world. I need to think about this. I don't want to get all swept up in how easy you make it sound. Deal. You're going to see I'm right. Now I want to go salvage my job so I can make this real for you. Okay. Go get them, right? So, Lucky went in front of the police review board today. He is helping with all the new information about Helena. He might get reinstated. Okay, so far only good news. He wants me to move in with him. Okay. <laughs> so what's the problem? I love Lucky, and I know he loves me. Okay, so what's the problem? This is just going to be a huge adjustment. More than Lucky realizes, and I don't think he realizes what he's okay, getting so, into. Uh, okay, so I think you're real clear about what's at stake for everyone else. But the dilemma is, what do you want to do? Whatever I decide, I need to consider my little boy. I always figured if you were happy, Cameron's happy. Yeah. And this would be the closest thing to a traditional family for Cameron. Except? I don't know what happens next. <laughs> well, what do you want to happen? I don't know. I'm not saying I want to rush into marriage, but I don't think living together is a final step to anything. Mm -hmm. You know, it should be the first step to something bigger. All right, well, what does, you know, what does Lucky say about marriage? Oh, we've not even discussed marriage. Look, Liz, I love my brother, okay? And I love you with my brother. But marriage, you know, it's, it's a huge leap. And, and you got to take it head on, day in and day out, for the rest of your lives, no matter what they throw at you. I know, I tried it once before, remember? Turns yeah. out it's not so easy. Yeah, well, sometimes you got to learn the hard way. I mean, you go into a marriage thinking that it's unbreakable, that nothing can ever change how you feel about each other, but sometimes things just happen. Yeah, things happen. Well, I'm not ready for that commitment. Not yet. I mean, it's way too soon. Not only for myself, but for Cameron, too. See, this is what I'm afraid of. What if Lucky and I move in together and things don't work out? You might want to ask yourself what happens if you don't move in together. You may never get a chance to find out. You're the sweetest friend. I know. What did you decide? <laughs> I didn't, but thank you. Bye. Hi. Hi. You just, you just miss Liz. Yeah, I know. I, I saw her. I thought I'd let you two finish. You ready? No. I need 
need the truth. Are you sorry you married me? Today could be a very big day for us, Cameron. Once upon a time, way before you were born, Mommy had another great love in her life. And he was so much fun and he was handsome and smart. We had a bazillion dreams together. Anything was possible. And then one day, it just all went up in smoke, literally. And there were evil witches and there were mean ogres and mommy and her prince were torn apart and mommy was so sad. So, so sad. But then you came along and mommy could start to dream again. And then as if by magic, the prince came back to mommy and it turns out that they still love each other very much. So what do you think, Cam? Hmm? You tell me, how do you think the story should end? You think we should all live happily ever after? Really? <laughs> um, man. Let's go to your room. Mike, give me your best bottle of root beer. Go. Oh. Oui, monsieur. Uh... Vintage. Last April. Best I got. We'll take it. Put it on my tab. Mm -hmm. Oh, you better uh, settle that tab before we vacate these premises. Like, tomorrow. Are you serious? Oh, in this real estate market, you don't pass a for rent sign without checking it out. <laughs> Tell me more. It has potential. Just like we do. That is all I ever needed to hear. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. 